what's up so walleye fishing with big minnows it's bald eagle over there anyway walleye fishing with big minnows that's today's adventure huge creek chubs you guys i do have a couple little ones but the majority of them are very very big i'm just going to put them on a lindy rig and drag them over a point where i'm marking a bunch of fish i actually did catch a fish on a jigging wrap already so i know there's a bunch of walleyes down there um this this time of the year that bite picks up they want big bait you know so let's do it all right guys this is a creek chub um creek chubs are a great alternate to, alternative to red tail and sucker minnows and they also catch fish um when others will not produce anyway we are sitting out on a point roughly <clears throat> um there's just a point that comes out and it drops off on all sides of this point. And there's actually fish right on the break, and there's also fish all over the tip of this point. So we're gonna just drag these red tail or these uh, ch creek chubs around and see what happens. Guys, see that? My, see my rod? Oh yeah, there's a fish on there. There's a fish on there, dude. I, I dropped this net and it was like down for like two seconds. In fact, that's probably the fish right there that's on the graph. Got him. Got him. Ooh, this feels like a big fish. And he's out in front of the trolling motor. That feels like a real nice fish. That was like instant. I didn't didn't even mark a fish. That feels like a just a donkey. Wow. This feels like a really big fish, you guys. So I'm just using a, I'm using a plain red hook with an orange bead on it. As, oh, that's a big, look at that big walleye, you guys. Oh, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, big. There's a nice walleye. Look at that, my first walleye, you guys. Look at that freaking canker. Jeez. All right, there's that walleye. He's got to be, what, 23, 24? There we go. Um, actually, 25 and a half. Oh, what a beauty. What's that? 25 and a half incher. Look at that. Gone. First fish, you guys. Can't wait to get this bait back down there. It's ridiculous. Here's a fish. It's coming off of this little point here. Got him. Got him. I did have something break me off. I kind of think the fish that broke me off was a pike. Feel like a decent fish. Hoping it's a walleye. It is staying really low here. Oh yeah, I see a white tip. I see a white tip. Another, another nice fish. Not no 26 incher, but definitely a nice walleye. Come on! Oh, settle down, settle down, settle down. I don't want you flopping around, getting. Oh, he came off. Look at that! Ha <laughs> ha! He came off already. There's a nice fish. 20 and a half. 20 and a half. Here's a beauty. Here's a beauty. We'll let you go straight away there, bud. Nice. There's a fish on the bottom. I'm just dropping this creek chub down right now. It's a small creek chub. Perfect size. So I'm just gonna start jigging it. Maybe I can get a just get a bite on video for you guys here. Is there a fish? There might be a fish on there already. Is there? There is. There's a fish on there. Got him. This was a small creek chub, so I didn't I didn't have to waste any time um you know letting them eat it. Those walleye they inhale a minute like that with no problem. That was sweet. Saw those two fish in the graph, dropped it, it was like instant. 
this time of year you know this this is a real this is a relatively small minnow i mean this time of year you can start using bigger minnows this is the only smaller creek chub i have this feels like a decent fish you guys that's the only smaller creek chub i have to be honest with you the rest of them are are pretty darn big you know compared to like a smaller shiner you guys might want to use oh what is this oh there's a nice oh, geez there's another nice one that's another tanker another tanker oh, well he's not a tanker but he's not small by any means it was wonderful wonderful you guys that creek chub is history come on settle down i just want to get you back in the water quick there bud that hook set is right there so that's what happens when you uh you do a quick hook set like that that i knew that this wall i sucked that red or that creek chub in and 22 and a half whoa uh, I guess that's my release. <laughs> All right, there's two fish on bottom right here. I just dropped this creek chub down. I'm just gonna jig. Oh, right there. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> I just dropped this thing down, you guys. This is ridiculous. That was like a six or seven inch creek chub, by the way. Got him. Got him. I'm gonna mark that spot right there on this point. That was a big creek chub. They're all big, but that one was, like I said, that one was probably six or seven inches long. It's good. I, we haven't had a, a, you know, literally a small fish yet. Every single fish is over 20 inches. Well, this, I don't think this is an exception. Is that a wall? What oh, is walleye? That's oh, a nice walleye. They're all nice walleyes. Yeah. There we go. There's a nice fish. That big old creek chub. Big creek chubs for big walleyes, baby. Hooked him right in the tip of the snout, too. That's a perfect catch. That way it's not deep hooked. No, don't wait too long, because this time of year, these fish are feeding, and all they want to do is eat and get stuff in their belly. It's probably another 22 and a half or 23 incher. Yep, 22 and a half right in the nose. Oh, Gonzo. Look at this. There's a look at that. Just a freaking tanker. Guess what? He's going down. Oh, we're right. I shouldn't say we're right on top of where we want to be, but we're darn close here, guys. I drop this down and we're gonna drag it a little bit here. I mean that they're that could be a fish right on bottom. Laying on the bottom, looking for that separation. When I'm jigging this minnow, or I'm dragging this minnow, I, I like contact with the bottom. I don't want it to drag the whole time on the bottom. Ooh, that minnow, minnow, there's a fish right there. Fish right there, you guys. That minnow was just flipping its fins and got hammered. A, that, that was a big red tail. I mean, big creek chub. Got him. There he is. That's another big fish. It's a really nice walleye. That's bigger than the ones I've been getting. That's, that's right. Oh gosh. That's a really nice walleye. On that giant creek chub see here it's gonna be a nicer fish 24 inches we're gonna let him go and he's gone guys what are the chances i've been keeping this guy around here what are the chances i'm gonna catch a, a walleye on this this is probably an eight inch long creek chub i'm not even kidding you i mean it's gonna be close. Pull my thing over here. Whoa, this thing is massive. It's a like massive creek chub. Ow, my gamma gets is in my thumb. It, it is eight. It is eight and a half. Eight and a half inches long. Okay. 
what are the chances I'm going to get a walleye on this eight and a half inch long creek chub? What do you think? No, yeah? Should we try? Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Looks like a freaking torpedo. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this on let it roll for like 10 minutes. So you guys can actually see that I caught it on that creek chub. You guys, I got a fish on this creek chub. I'm not even kidding you. Eight and a half inch long creek chub. Is it even possible? How big is this walleye? I'm gonna laugh if I get this thing up and it's just a dink. I'm, you guys, I gotta give him, I gotta give him, you know, just a little bit here. I mean, seriously, this eight and a half inch creek chub, this fish, Yep, I got him. God, it doesn't feel very big either. Guys, it, it, I, I got a, I got a walleye on this freaking eight and a half inch creek chub. But and it, ain't, it ain't that big. You see that? Oh my gosh. How did this fish even eat that creek chub? I mean, wow. Oh, that's crazy. There it is right there. Eight and a half inch creek chub. <laughs> well, he ate her. You guys got, you guys see the proof. It's right there. And this walleye is only, you know, 22 inches long. So it's not like it's a baby, but when you're eating an eight and a half inch creek chub, you Definitely biting off more than you can chew. There he goes, baby. Gosh, that was crazy. Little fish right there. There's fish right there. Look at that, see that? Those are all walleyes. This should be quick. Come on, guys. You're right down there. You're right down there. fish right there. He come up and just belted that minnow. I knew it was maritime. Dragging off that edge. This guy's acting tough. Like he knows a thing or two. Actually acting like he's really big. He's just hanging. Look at that. That's all fish right there, you guys. I only have eight pound floral on here, so I'm not gonna get crazy. But big fish of the day would be fantastic. It's a freaking monster. It's a freaking monster. I'm not kidding you when I say that. Oh my gosh, look at this fish. Oh, oh my God, that's a monster. That's gotta be 28. 27, 28, that is a monster. Right, yes. oh, oh, sorry, hold on bud. Just wanna, just wanna get you unhooked, get a measurement, and we'll get you back in the water. Hook is right in the corner of the mouth here. Giant, look at this giant, you guys. 
absolute giant. 27, eh, 27, that's a monster. I told you it'd be big. Oh, it's fired up, it's gone. There we go. Yeah. seen this fish yet. Just trying to get up here. Oh, there's my sinker. Oh, look it is. It's a, that's another toad. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's a freaking toad. Look at that fish. Jesus. It's another absolute donkey. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Back to back donkeys. This one's probably not as long as the other one, I'm guessing. But he is girthy. Oh my gosh. 26. Well, 25 and 90s. But look at the girth on that thing. Great. 26 incher. Going back. Back to back. Don't, look at the girth on that. Oh yeah, we're going to let you go. Look at the girth on that walleye, you guys. Freaking awesome. You ready? Hey, bud. Fish is all charged up. Taking swings, there we go. <sighs> What's up everybody? So, um, I would have to say that um, I don't think the, the title of this video lied at all. Big creek chubs, big walleyes. Those last two were huge. Um, 27 and 26, it was really 25 and like some change, but it was crazy. You see, I caught like a 22 inch drop of an eight inch, eight and a half inch creek chub. I think that fall bite is really here. Um, you guys could see where, you know, I, I did go over my graph a few times where you could see there's actually a point that comes out, a long point that comes out. And I was actually fishing the back side of that point. You could see the walleyes were just piled up. Like, I'll try to put the picture on there, the one picture. It was crazy. They were piled up on the back side of that point. I mean, I was dropping and catching drop. I don't think I went, you know, more than 10 minutes without a bite this whole time. Um, yeah, big minnows. That's get you big fish. That was crazy, absolutely crazy. Got my gear here. Got my seven foot two tuned up custom rod Apex Elite. This thing's money. Uh, this one has a fast action tip on it. Solid cork handle on this one. This thing's been putting walleyes in the boat like all summer long, all spring long. I mean, you guys, you guys have seen, you know, a bunch or some other some other videos. I'm catching everything, smallies. I mean, everything I've been catching on this rod. Um, got some 10 pound nano fill. It's been I've really liked this line. I actually switched from J braid to this because of its castability. Um, really like it. My reel. PC Fun Carbon X 2000 was putting the hurt on these fish, you guys. Like I said, this this combo has just been unstoppable for me, you know, along with my panfish combo. You know, that's a Carbon X 1000 with my uh, 72 tuned up ultralight. Anyway, big minnows, big fish. What a morning, you guys. This was freaking ridiculous. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, this, you know, as one more thing, I always want to touch point on again, is this time of year, those fish are going deep. The majority of the walleyes you're going to find this year, they're not, you know, they're not in 12 feet along weeds or 16 feet, really. You know, I did a couple mark, a couple fish in 17, but I actually had a pike come up and almost ripped my line off. 20 to, you know, 20 to 24 feet, 25 feet is where I found these fish, you know, um, right on the edge of steep breaks. That's where you're going to find those fish this time of year. Anyway, don't be afraid to go out and just drive around and look with your graph. I mean, that's how you find fish. And then have a jig and wrap ready. Actually, when I, when I first marked these fish, I had a jig and wrap on and I dropped that thing immediately. Immediately a fish bit. It was a walleye. I'm like, cool. You know, now let's see how they bite on these creek chubs. Bite was hot. Anyway, 
please like, share, subscribe. I hope you guys love my videos. I love putting them out. I love making them education, educational. They're not as flashy as other videos, you know. But you know what? I try to teach everybody um, something, you know, why I'm here or the area I'm fishing. So you can relay that in your own fishing adventures. So, hey, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.